Hey everyone, this is Anton from Pocket Now, Michael behind the camera, and we are here in Barcelona at the LG booth taking a look at the LG Optimus G Pro, the possible Galaxy Note 2, not even killer, but competitor. Let's take a look. So talking about specifications, we have a 5.5 inch IPS Full HD display for 400 ppi. On the top we have a headset, we have an ambient light sensor and a proximity sensor and a 2.1 megapixel front facing shooter. Going down to the bottom below the huge screen we have the uh, home button which resembles almost every Samsung and LG phone and next to them we have a Android back button and a menu button. Rolling it to the side, we have a power button and absolutely nothing else. But we do have a place where you can peel the back battery cover off, despite the fact that we've been told that this is included and embedded. Now hopping up to the back, we have a 13 megapixel camera with an LED flash. You'll notice the uh, U+, Plus. this is a Korean version, but the international version will have the exact same specifications. Going down towards the bottom, we have the LG logo, of course, which is covered up plus the uh, micro USB port and a microphone which will pick up mainly your voice. Hopping into the other side, I'll talk more about this button in a second. We have a uh, volume rocker for volume up and volume down and on the top we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with an IR blaster and the secondary microphone for noise cancellation. But let's talk about software and I'll tell you more about this button right now. So the G Pro is running Android 4.1 at the moment with LG's proprietary user interface on top of it and uh, it doesn't have a stylus but in this case your finger is the stylus just like it was with the Optimus View and uh, to demonstrate that we'll go into for instance messaging and here's this button which you will press and the user interface will change so that you can select your tools for instance this color and this pen we have several types of brushes and uh, you can use your finger to write or uh, annotate and you can of course use the eraser and everything you note on that page will be saved and it will be available for your later reference. Now hopping back, before we do that there's an interesting feature. For instance say you're in a uh, phone conversation with somebody or you're having an email or you're writing something down using the Q memo and uh, you write down the number, it will you will hit that button and basically your whole note on that screen will remain visible. You hop out back of the application, you'll still have your note there. For instance, you'll go into contacts or your phone and dial in the phone number which you have just noted. Call away, press the button once again and it will disappear. And now let's take a look at QSlide, which is LG's mode of making multiple windows happen. We've seen videos running in the background for previous devices, but in this particular case, there are a couple of applications which uh, allow you to have them in a windowed state. Let's try that out with, uh, for instance, calculator. Right here, as you can see right now, it is full screen, but you can hit that button right there and it will give you a Q-slide activation. Of course, it's a guide and it will have the window right there floating on top. It is, of course, resizable, so you can change the size of that and you can mess around with the transparency so you'll see what's beneath that. Let's get back to the home screen and kill that. Just two words about build quality. It feels good in hand. It's of course made out of plastic. Uh, it's that kind of plastic which resembles the Nexus 4. I'm trying to get the light on it in a proper way. You'll see the Nexus 4-like squares shining in different light conditions. It's of course plastic, but it feels good. It's not cheap. So this much about the LG Optimus G Pro. We'll be back with you with a comparison between the LG Optimus G Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Anton from Pocket Now, Michael behind the camera. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more.